My name is Pradesh Nagarajay, I am from Manavara. So last class we are discussing about the topic from 8th standard that is algebraic expression and identities. So that part is already completed. So let us move on to the next part that is exponents and powers. Exponents and powers. Yes. So here just observe the word, the new word comes here, powers. So here it is not dealing with any electricity. So it is only the mathematical term power. Power means here it's a raised term. So we are already discussed that in square. So for example, when we take the two square, that means two is raised to the power two. So that means here the power is we are multiplying term. That means we are multiplied two times the power of this term. So we are discussing about this thing. So that is, so whatever the number, whatever the number we have, whatever the term we have, so we raise from this another number. We raise above the another number means that one is the power we are calling. So this is the case of exponents and powers. So how do we use that one? So how it is used? We have to discuss here. That is, for example, sometimes, so we have a word, we have a number so when we take the higher numbers when we take the num higher numbers here so sometimes the numbers appears like this that is 5970000 yes here just observe there is no any decimal point in between the any zeros but here it is a big number so it's a big number. Sometimes the mass of the earth and the radius of the earth, distance between the earth and the moon, distance between the earth and the sun. Sometimes, so according to that measurement, so we have some this, this numbers. This much kilometer, this much kg and uh, this much distance, likewise we have. But at that time we can't use this whole huge numbers. But we can express in the power of exponents and powers. How can we express that one? So, we have to discuss here. So, let us, how to take that one. But here just observe 5 and 7. That means here is a other than 0 we have. So, just so firstly we have to write 5, 9, 7. 5, 9, 7 I wrote here. So, after that, here we have, we are continuously we have zeros means whatever the number we have. Sometimes we have other numbers also. So don't bother about that one. So just we have 5 and 7 at the starting of the term. But any number we have means we can round off. Otherwise we can round off. For example, here 5, 9, 7 we have means we can take it's a 6. 6 also we can take because when we round off to near hundreds means it becomes 6, 600. We can take. So it is also possible. But here we have 5, 9, 7 here. So after that what we have to do? So we have to take a multiplication sign and then we have to take the 10. So we have to multiply with 10. Yes. So how can we take that one? Yes. When 1, 0 we, 1, one times we multiply 10 means, so it becomes 5, 9, 7, 0. 1 times we multiply 10 means here we have 5, 9, 7, 0. Then another time we have 0 means we have to multiply 10 another time here. But I just take 10 into 10 is equal to 10 square. Yes, we can insert. And here 3 squares we have. Here 3 zeros we have. So that's why third zero. So we can insert 3 here. Here 4. Here 5. So we can insert 5. Then here 6. So we can insert 6. Instead of doing like this, so we can count the numbers. 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. So that means here, 19 zeros we have. Yes. 597 into 10 raised to 19 is the number. So here just observe, here it takes this much space. 
for the single number this to whole space for this number but here this only small space is enough for it when i am express this whole number complete number in the form of exponents and powers so this is that is the one of the use of this exponents and power we can express in small words already i told you that mathematics is a language of numbers we can use some of the exponents we can use some of the powers and we can use some of the symbols to express the mathematics here it is a mathematics is there there's a whole number huge number but here we express in the mathematical language yes so here five and seven is also very huge number five and seven is also very bigger number so it can also be reduced how can we reduce that one so just come to here when i am when i am just we have to take 5.97 that means here just observe here 7 is there here 9 is there here 5 is there that means uh, we can take decimal point here we can take decimal point here we can take decimal point here already you know that one that is so when i am when i have to multiply and divide by 10 here multiply 10 will multiply with this 10 raised to my 19 and divide by 10 is that so that means my here when we take like this the principle of this number does not disturb so that means here it cancelled out there is no any changes in that equation but here when we are when i am express when i am just multiply this 10 with this and we have to divide this 10 with this 5 5.9 597 597 so we have to divide with this So what happens here? So decimal point comes here, and uh, this becomes twenty. So here this ten is also used because of we have just inserted the decimal point here, and this ten I multiply. Yes, fifty nine point seven is also a very huge number compared to five point nine seven. So I have to replace this. Yeah. So because of for that one, so we have to multiply divide ten with the principal. So we have to balance the this equation. So that's why balance this number means. So we have to multiply. That is multiply and divide. So multiply and divide again. So here when we divide this one, so the decimal point comes here, and we have to multiply this ten with two. Yes. So that means. Here, this 5.97 into 10 raised to 21 is also this number. It's also belong. It's also representation of this number. So here, just we have to observe how to take that one. So here we, here it is. The another form. The another form of explanation is like this. That is, so we can transpose. We can change the decimal point here. How much decimal point? Just observe. Before that, before that, the decimal point is here. Yes. So when I Change this decimal point here means here zero means it's a ten raised to one, and then here it will here it comes means ten raised to two, hundred is there, ten raised to two that means two zero zero ten raised to two, and uh, here I put the decimal point means ten raised to three. Here we have to directly we can put the ten raised to three that is five nine seven zero 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 into ten raised to three because so when I am just Multiplied thousand with this number, so decimal point comes here. So it uh, when I'm taking to multiply with ten and multiply with ten, multiply with ten, the decimal point vanishes like this. And here I'm just taking this. I will transpose. Here I will transpose this uh, decimal point here. Then here ten raised to four. Likewise, it continues. Here comes ten raised to five, ten raised to six, ten raised to seven. Ten raised to eight, ten raised to nine, ten raised to ten, ten raised to eleven, ten raised to twelve, ten raised to thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one. Here we have means five point nine seven into ten raised to twenty-one here. Okay, after this we have twenty-one places we have in twenty-one decimal places means so we can take directly ten raised to twenty-one. so this is the importance of this exponents and powers so how can how can we take that one so how can we utilize that one we can express the huge number in the form of small numbers by taking the raised return
one. That is how it is raised. The ten raised to the power. Here we how we how we are calling that one is ten raised to twenty one. Ten raised to twenty one means how we are calling that one. So that is ten raised to the power. Raised to the power. Power twenty one. So we are calling like this. That is ten raised to the power twenty one. So whatever the number we have. For example, two raised to m we have means. 2 raised to m means so it's a power is m and here 2 is the number that is so we are calling it so here 2 raised to the power m 2 raised to the power m likewise we are calling so here we have 10 raised to the power 21 here 2 raised to the power m so whatever the word we have whatever the term we have here so that one is the base here 10 is the base here Two is the base. Two is the base number. Base number two. That means so here particularly in the exponent form. Particularly in the exponent form. Here it is the exponent form. Two raised to m or three raised to m, five raised to m, x raised to m. So let us when we take the x raised to m. For example, x raised to m means so whatever the term we can take in the in place of x and whatever the number we can take in the place of m. So we can take, but here it's the form that x is the base, and here m is the exponent. That is, m is the exponent. Yes. So this is the form of exponential power, and here ten is the base, and twenty one is the exponent. Twenty one is the exponent we have here. So this is the form of Exponent and power. So how to take the exponent means the raised part, the raised power part is the exponent, and the term we have here, that one is the base. So base and exponent we have. So we are continuously dealing with the base and exponent in the throughout this chapter. So before that we have to know these things. And so let us move on to the next term that is negative exponents. Powers with negative exponents. Powers with negative exponents. Yes. So here we are dealing with negative exponents here. So that means here already I told you that. Some are having the positive exponent. Some are having negative exponent. That means here we are know about only the positive exponents. That is two raised to two, three raised to three, and uh, four raised to three. Likewise, four raised to the power three, three raised to the power two. Likewise, we know that one. That is uh, here the power. So already we know that exponent means it's a power part. That is two raised to two. It's a two raised to two here. That means here the concept is the power. The power is positive term. That is positive integer. There is no any negative integer. What happens if we insert the negative integer here? We can take two raised to minus two and ten raised to minus five and uh, six raised to minus three. We can take. But what is the relation between the positive exponents here? Yes, obviously because it's a Multiplicative inverse. It's a multiplicative inverse. In multiplicative inverse, what we are taking that in that case, we are taking the reciprocals. That means here two raised to minus two is nothing but it's a one by two raised to two. That means when we take that same number is in the denominator part. That means when we take the reciprocal of that one, that becomes two raised to two. It's a Number with the power with the positive exponents. That is the negative exponent. Negative exponent is equal to exponent is equal to one divided by positive exponents. We can take it as a positive exponent.
It's not a formula. It's not a formula. It's only for the understanding purpose. Don't try it in your notebook here. This one. That is negative exponent. Whatever the negative exponents we have here. So when we take the divided by one, that means one divided by that same negative same term here means it comes in with the positive exponent. That is here the negative exponent is there. So here the exponent term we have the negative integer. So here after taking the reciprocal of that one, so it comes with the positive exponent. Here also one divided by ten raised to five. That means here negative exponents we have. Then after taking the reciprocal, so we have positive exponent that is ten raised to five. Here six raised to minus three we have. That is when we take the reciprocal one by six raised to three. So it means it comes with the positive exponents. Here just observe the what is the value of fifty two raised to two? It is is equal to one by It is one by four. We have that means that we know that two raised to two is equal to four, and two raised to minus two is equal to one by four. So, what is the multiplicative inverse of four here? One by four. That means when we multiply four into one by four is equal to we get one. So it is multiplicative identity. It is the multiplicative. Identity. That means how how you are taking the multiplicative identity. So when you multiply any number with one, we get one only. That means the value of, value of the number does not disturbs. So that one is the multiplicative identity. So the multiplicative inverse. The multiplicative inverse of four is one by four. So let us take it in the exponent form. So here this like two can be expressed in the form of two raised to two and into It can be expressed in the form of two raised to two, one by two raised to two is equal to one. Also, it can be expressed in the form of positive exponent and negative exponent. This implies two raised to two into two raised to minus two is equal to one. Two raised to two into two raised to minus two is equal to one. Likewise, we have here also we can take the same. That is ten raised to five we have. When we multiply with ten raised to minus by you, definitely we get one only. And when we have here six raised to three, we have when we multiply with six raised to minus three, definitely we get one only. So here the concept is: so the when we have a negative exponent, when we take the reciprocal in the denominator part, we have the powers with the positive exponent. That is. When we take the reciprocal, we get the positive exponent. So here we, it is difficult to take two raised to minus two. It is difficult to take two raised to minus two. So we are confusing with that. Now we take that one. Take the reciprocal and then take the number. That is one by two raised to two. We have that is two raised to one by four. Or otherwise, you are expressing in terms of negative exponents. Means positive number. We have two raised to two. We have means So I want I want that number is in the form of negative exponent. How can we take that one? Take the reciprocal. Two raised to minus two. Yes. So this is the some of the forms we have can understand for the powers with the negative exponents. Yes. So this is the thing we have. That is the mul multiplicative inverse. Actually, the multiplicative inverse of two raised to minus two is Two raised to two and two raised to two is two raised to minus two. So the actually the multiplicative inverse of negative exponent is the positive exponent, and the multiplicative inverse of positive exponent is the negative exponent. So that one we have to understand. So let us move on to the some problems based on these things. Already we learnt that what is meant by the power and the uh, exponent. So we already discussed. So particularly in case of x raised to m, that is x is the base, m is the exponent. We discussed. And another case we discussed is power with the negative exponent. So that one already we discussed. That is so whatever the negative exponent we have, when we take the reciprocal, the that number is converted into the positive exponent. Particularly in the denominator part. Particularly in the denominator part. Okay. So that one. So Also, when we multiply the same positive exponent with the negative exponent, the answer is one. And the, when we multiply the positive exponent of same 
with the negative exponent is one to zero because if the reciprocal of that one goes to getting cancels, we remain only one. Yes, sir. Let us move on to the some problems based on this exponent. Yes, so let us move on to the some problems based on this exponents and powers, especially with the negative exponents. So here we have to find out the multiplicative inverse of some numbers are there. Two raised to minus four, seven raised to minus two, eight raised to minus m. So here just observe. So here there is no any number is zero. Here base of the number, base number is not zero. We can't take zero. Okay, because because when we take zero here when we take the zero as the base it becomes zero only whatever the number we raise uh, on the zero that will be zero only there is no any cases there, there is no any other cases okay here 2 raised to minus 4 we have 7 raised to minus 2 we have and 8 raised to minus m we have so we have to take the multiplicative inverse so here it is 2 raised to minus 4 so already i have just explained you that is when we take the reciprocal of that one that one is the multiplicative inverse also it comes in the form of positive exponent in the denominator that is we can take it as a 2 raised to 4 when we take the value so we can take that is 1 by 16 like that okay so there is no any needed here because we want only the multiplicative inverse of this 2 raised to minus 4 that is 1 by 2 raised to 4 okay so yes so here 7 raised to minus 2 we have so here we have to take the multiplicative inverse that means so we have to take 1 by 7 raised to 2 then here we have a raised to minus m so in generally we can take that one that is a raised to minus m so when we take the reciprocal of that one it comes in the form of positive exponent that is a raised to m so this is the method so we have to find out the multiplicative inverse here. so here a raised to minus m is the negative exponent so this is the negative exponent that is negative exponent and this a raised to m is the multiplicative inverse that is a raised to m is the multiplicative inverse multiplicative inverse in general you can take this and another thing so let us take another thing that is a raised to zero whatever is a raised to zero here so a raised to zero and a raised to minus zero whatever the thing we have so that must be one only because there is no any minus and there is no any positive zero and negative zero zero means only zero there is no any negative there is no any positive even if we have minus zero plus zero so we have to take only one whatever the number raised with zero means that one only the number is the result is one only there is no any other results so let us move on to the next set of problem go to the expanded form that is uh, whatever the number we have so we have to express with the multiplication of that place value and the face values so we already learned that one that is what is the place and the what is the face so we have to multiply the according to the places yes so we already learned that it is 1025 so here 1025 is is in the left side of the decimal point here we have the decimal places so when we have the decimal places so it is completely it's a meaning of that is fraction that is the fractional part when we have so that means it's a decimal places here we have to discuss here we have to express those decimal parts and the those decimal places in the form of exponents so firstly we have to express this number is in the common expanded form so let us we have to take Here one is in the thousand place. We have to multiply with the thousand here. One into thousand, and then plus, and then zero we have we have to express that also. Zero into hundred. Here it is in the hundred place. We have to multiply with the hundred. Then two we have two into ten. It's the tenth place. So two is in the tenth place. That's why we have to express in the in the Two into ten like that. Then here we have five in the unit place. That's why so we have to express as a five into one. So then we have six. Six is in the first decimal place. That means zero point six. How to get zero point six here? 
so when we divide 6 with the 10 6 from the 10 so then we have the 0 0.6 that's why we can take 6 into 1 by 10 plus 3 3 is in the second decimal places that was, that's why so we have to divide with the 100 0 0.03 how to get that one 3 divided by 100 that is we can express in the form of 3 into 1 by 100 you already learnt about that 3 into 1 by 100 it is then here we have here it is the thing is we have to expand here we have to express in the form of exponent that is 10 raised to the power we have to express so how to take that one here the subject is 3 zero we have so obviously it is a 10 raised to 3 that is we can express in the form of 10, 1 into 10 raised to 3 that is 10 raised to the power 3 then 0 100 means it is a 10 square that is 10 raised to the power 2 10 raised to the power 2 then 2 into 10 here yeah. so that means 10 raised to the power 1 2 into 10 raised to the, to the power 1 only one 10 we have so that's why we x raised to 1 yes yes how can we express 1 here so we already discussed that one that is whatever the base number we have when we express the power as a 0 when we have a power as a 0 so that must be a 1 so that one we already learned that that's why so we can take 10 raised to 0 as 1 so it's in the expanded form so that's why be careful about that one don't write only 1 here it is 10 raised to 0 wherever we have 10 raised 1 here so in the expanded form so you have to express in the form of 10 raised to 0 as a place value or place here then here we have 6 in 1 by 10 so 10 is the, in the denominator how can we take that one so here 1 by 10 raised to 1 so we have to take the multiplicative inverse how to take that one 10 raised to 1 is in the denominator means when we take in the numerator it becomes 10 raised to minus 1 here we have 10 raised to 1 when we take into the numerator so it becomes 10 raised to minus 1 then plus here 3 into 1 by 10 square 100 means 10 square it is 10 raised to the power 2 so here we have 10 square means so after taking into the numerator what happens here it's a multiplicative inverse of this thus that one is the 10 raised to minus 2 here then when we have 1 by 1000 so 1 by 1000 we have means another place means it's a 1 by 10 raised to 3 so when we take the multiplicative inverse it's in the exponent form means we have to take it in the numerator it becomes 10 raised to minus 3 here so likewise we have to expand this form yes so this is the exponent expanded form there are so many problems based on this part expand some number expand some number means here it is the thing is we have to expand express all the terms it is here 10 raised to 3 10 raised to 2 10 raised to 1 10 raised to 0 10 raised to minus 1 10 raised to minus 2 here it becomes and when we have another number here that means it becomes 10 raised to 4 10 raised to 5 like that here it's a 10 raised to 0 after the, in the unit place we have 10 raised to 0 that one we have to remember and after that 10 raised to minus 1 first decimal places and the second decimal places it is 10 raised to minus 2 third decimal place we have means 10 raised to minus 3 fourth decimal place we have means 10 raised to minus 4 likewise it continues yes i hope you understood this thing so those who are watching this video for the first time please subscribe our channel and don't forget to press the bell icon you can get the notification of our channel very easily also hit the like button thank you and all peace and stay home